to discipline yourself and to train yourself in order to achieve self-development. Now, we bow normally, the show of respect comes in many different forms, but the most obvious is bow. We bow to our seniors, we show respect and seniority, we bow to the face of our training, such as the dojo, to show that we appreciate the era and space that's given to us. We also do a meditation session before every practice. Now, this is one of my favorite sessions of Kendo, because during the meditation session, we are encouraged and advised to remove anything that is not related to Kendo during the session. So when they're doing the meditation, all we need to do is focus on what we need to do, what we came to do, and that is to practice Kendo. Anything else that's not related should be removed from practice during the time. Now, let's move on to the goal of Kendo. Now that it's been shifted to a much more modern style of sports, what is the purpose of actually doing Kendo and learning sword? This is actually the Kendo Federation's objective. It's a lot on chunk pool, but I'd like you to focus on the five lines over here. To mold the mind and body to help the build the spirit, and to correct and remove training to strive for improvement in the art of Kendo and the purpose of the of oneself. But this means, overall, there is one particular model combining all five of these lines, which is Ki Ken Tai I Chi. What this means is Ki, the spirit, Ken, sword, and in fact, Kai, the body, as one, Ichi as one. Now, the purpose of doing this is for one to achieve a certain level of proficiency and control of your body. Building a sword isn't very easy. It feels clunky, it's long, and it's hard to do around. Sometimes you're hitting your own head, sometimes you're your body, and it's very, very difficult. But true practice and true training and through understanding how to use a sword, you learn how to control your body, you learn how to move seamlessly, and eventually, you learn how to naturally attack an opponent. So what am I trying to say to you here today? I'm trying to bring up the purpose of Tango because it plays an important life part of me when I was 18. A lot of the culture, a lot of the lessons that it taught me, despite it, excluding the world, is that when you're doing something, you should focus on what you're doing. It's a meditation session. I recall a lot of times when I was just wondering about my studies, what you're wanting to do, but through the meditation session, it helped me to focus. And even when I'm not doing them, even when I'm doing everyday things, I, use, I sometimes go back to meditation to find out what it is I need to focus on, to remove any distractions that I need to do, in order to achieve what is right in front of me. In terms of the respect of Kendo and how we try to cherish and appreciate our space for learning, our, senior, our seniors, because these are the people that teach you, these are the people that recognize you and make you learn respect. In the case of Dojo, when I was back at 18, I would train in either the multi-purpose hall, sometimes I would even train in the canteen, but no matter where we train, it was important that we know that this is a space, this is a space that we train, this is a sacred place, and we should appreciate this particular place that we have. So ladies and gentlemen, in Kendo, it's not a, in Kendo we strive for self-development. And like the lessons that we learn in Kendo, it can be applied to anywhere as well. Such as in Toastmaster, let's take the concept of keeping Tai Chi and move it into Toastmasters. Rather than having the sword, the spirit, and the body, we'll have the vocal variety, the body gesture, and the structure of the speech. At first, it may seem awkward. You may be very nervous about what you're going to do on stage, you're not sure what to do. But as practice goes on, the more you practice, the more disciplined you are in learning the art, you will eventually learn to master these particular tree into one, and it becomes a natural flow of what you do. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's proof that I actually did kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and let us all strive not to be masters of the sword, but rather masters of the sword.